Hello, class 9 students, boys and girls. Today in this video, we will study how to change a decimal form into P by Q form. Decimal form into P by Q form. For example, we can take a decimal form. 0 0.6, 0 0.6. That means uh, this, uh, this is the last number in which the digit after decimal point 6 is uh, repeating. 6 is repeating. And uh, for changing into P by Q form, first write x is equal to 0 0.66 etc. Number this statement as 1. Okay. After that, how many digits are repeating? Only one digit. The digit is 6 or only repeating, then multiply the first statement with the 10. 1 digit repeating 10, 2 digit repeating 100, then 1 into 10, 10 into x, and how many? 10x is equal to 0 0.66 into 10, decimal point will shift one place to right, 6.6 etc. This is a 2. Now, Left side, right side, left side, right side. Subtract left side. 2 minus 1 implies 10x minus 1x, 9x. 6.6 minus 0.6, 6.6 minus 0.6, 6, 6. The next is equal to 6 by 9 or 2 by 3, 2 by 3. <coughs> now, the number 0 0.6 is converted into P by Q form by this method. The P by Q form is 2 by 3 or 2 upon 3. Okay, this is the answer in a P by Q form. Next topic is uh, rationalize the denominator of a an irrational expression. You know root 2 is irrational, root 3 is irrational, root 5 is irrational. But if you are adding, if you are adding rational number with the irrational number, 2 plus root 2, it is irrational. 2 plus root 3, it is irrational. And uh, last video you were watching, when you are mixing, adding or subtracting, to rational number and uh, irrational number and uh, the resulting the result will be irrational also in a, in an expression like here, 1 by root here denominator is uh, numerator is rational denominator is uh, irrational numerator is uh, rational denominator is rational in order to change uh, this irrational denominator there is a method. Multiply numerator and denominator with the irrational denominator. 1 into root 2, root 2. Root 2 into root 2, 2. Now, the denominator is uh, rational. This is the method to change irrational denominator into rational. That process is known as rationalization of the denominator. Okay? Now, another question. Another question, 1 by root 3 plus root 2, 1 by root 3 plus root 2, 1 by root 3 plus root 2. Then, in this uh, denominator there are two times, in such questions, in order to change this irrational denominator, <coughs> you have to multiply numerator and denominator with uh, if it is root i plus root b form, then root i minus root b. That means root 3 minus root 2. Root 3 minus root 2. Same a quantity by same quantity. No change in that value. Then multiply numerator and denominator with the root 3 minus root 2. Root 3 minus root 2. Root i plus root b. If it is like that, rationalizing factor is root a minus root 2. Root b. Then 1 into root 3, root 3 minus root 2, 
divided by a plus b a minus b a square minus b square then root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 square is 3 root 2 square is 2 is equal to root 3 minus root 2 divided by 1 is equal to root 3 minus root 2 now the denominator is rational here the denominator was irrational now changes to rational this is the rationalization of a function of a, an expression with a numerator and denominator which denominator contains two terms two irrational terms okay thank you